let me ask you this question. Where are you looking for your client? I was talking to one of my clients yesterday and we were talking about where he might be able to find more clients. And I'm, I'm sure if you're a coach or you're in the sort of personal business consulting, that kind of space, you would have done the round of networking events. And when you arrive, of course, the room is already full of other coaches and consultants looking at the same small group of potential clients. And I was reminded of a great book I came across probably about 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago, called Blue Ocean Strategy. That what if you looked for new customers where your customers aren't? And I think one of the stories that was told was about Guinness, the, the Irish stout beer. And certainly in the UK, Guinness had grown over the years, phenomenal brand loyalty. People loved it or hated it. It was like Marmite. People loved it or hated it. And they had found many different innovative ways to deliver the Guinness experience. So the draft in the can with the widget that made it foam up inside the can. So it was, it was like a proper draft beer in a pub that had a head on it. And so you could have that draft experience at home. And they found different ways of innovating the drinking of Guinness. But when you've got a very loyal customer base that pretty much is literally saturated, you know, how do you grow beyond that? Because people who didn't like Guinness, the reason why they didn't like it was either they tasted it and didn't like the taste, or they hadn't tasted it and didn't want to because they were afraid they wouldn't like the taste. So there was a huge market of non-Guinness drinkers who might be other beer drinkers who just didn't buy Guinness. And then there was this disruptive innovation by looking at those people who didn't buy Guinness, which was a much greater market segment than those who did. By looking at those, they found a way to penetrate that market. And it was a very simple idea. When food or drink is very cold, you can't taste it. It dulls the flavour. And although a core brand of Guinness was quality ingredients in this very specific flavour, they actually tried an experiment, which is to serve Guinness ice cold. And then their first experiments, the sales of Guinness increased 11-fold. Imagine growing your business 11-fold. Uh, what is your innovation that could unlock that group of clients that you haven't even thought of yet, your non-customers? So I'm sure this is not a particularly original idea. I just want to share this story with you because I was reminded of it yesterday. But a very powerful story that if you look in the same place for the same people, you're going to get the same results you've currently got. Start looking somewhere else. Think about who are your non-customers. How can you access them? Because it's a much, much, much bigger space than the space where you're currently marketing. I really look forward to hearing what you get from this and what comes to you, what ideas come to you, what innovations you might think of, or the odd places where you might find a non-customer that can be made a customer of your business. Thank you for watching.